Well, what's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's how to unlock video, we're gonna be covering the CX-9 Modern Warfare SMG for those of you that are free to play in Warzone. Although I did cover this in the past, we are on a completely new map. Tons of new players join all the time, or overall, there might still be people struggling to unlock this, so I wanted to give you guys an updated version. You guys can expect me to cover some tips and tricks to make it a bit easier. We will obviously go over the challenge, you know what you need to do to unlock it, and I will even give you guys a recommended loadout to set you up for success. Before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure to show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button as we are almost at 8k. All right, so in order to unlock this, of course, you need to know what that challenge is. If you go to where you edit your loadout, go to the SMG category, scroll down to the CX9 challenge to be read as follows using smgs get two long shot medals in five different matches all right so let's go ahead and talk about the best game mode to dive into when you have it available i recommend either caldera clash or rebirth blood money quads however those aren't typically in the game at all times so i obviously will recommend you guys dive into plunder big bonus about plunder as well is it gives people of all skill levels a lot more time to get the progress towards their challenge which overall means you might actually be able to complete this in the amount of matches it's asking which in this case is five now these matches tend to last 10 to 20 minutes so if you find yourself struggling to do this in the ltm modes it might be a better option for you once you are obviously in plunder and you're diving into caldera you're going to want to land at the airfield most players here are completing weapon challenges overall trying to level up their guns and they also might just be there trying to get some kills because they know it's the most populated place on the map. Considering the fact that you only need to get two eliminations via long shot, it is better to get yourself into as many engagements as possible in order to actually make sure that you can get this done before the match ends. I think the only real difficulty with this challenge is the fact that you are going to be doing it with an SMG and they are not built for range. So if you run into people using the meta weapons, whether it's an AR or just a better SMG, you might find yourself struggling to win those engagements. Now, because it is long shots, my favorite way to do this is to land on the outskirts of the airfield, which is where all the trees are. It limits the visibility of the players flying in, so they won't necessarily try to dive on top of you and obviously try to take you out. And it gives you a little bit more visibility to the people flying in, so you can actually choose your engagements wisely. And in order for it to count as a long shot, you really only have to be 30 meters or more away while using an SMG. One thing that makes it significantly easier, especially landing on the outskirts, is that you can actually mount on trees. I recommend mounting on anything if you're going for this challenge, because it is a little bit more difficult to be accurate with SMGs at range. And you're gonna to need to be extremely accurate to hit the bullets you need to in order to take people out in the engagements. Now for your second perk, I recommend running high alert as it'll allow you to see when other people are staring at you, looking at you, maybe someone flying in might be targeting you and it will give you a little bit more of a heads up. Now in most of my unlock videos, I recommend that you guys run dead silence. However, in this case, I do recommend using the supply box because it is likely that you're gonna burn through quite a few bullets going for this challenge as it's going to take a lot more to actually eliminate your opponents at range with an SMG. Now, I recommend considering good positioning for this, like we talked about, whether it's mounting on a tree or somewhere else that's more effective for you. Just make sure you are beyond that 30 meters. Wait it out if you have to. No one's going to complain if you're camping, especially if you're going for a challenge. And the idea here is to get it done as quickly as possible. Now that we covered some tips and tricks, I want to dive into the recommended loadout with the MP7, as it is going to be a crucial part of this challenge, as it has very low recoil, which will make it significantly easier easier to hit those shots and overall get those eliminations. So for our attachments, we have as follows. For our muzzle, we have that monolithic suppressor. For our barrel, we have the FSS recon. For our laser, we are using the TAC laser. For our magazine, the 60 round mags. And then last but not least, for our underbarrel, we have that Ranger foregrip. All right, so a couple more things I wanna talk about before we wrap it up here. The reason I'm recommending to you guys a Modern Warfare SMG is because you are looking to unlock this Modern Warfare SMG. And sometimes using the weapons from the other titles, whether it's Vanguard or Cold War, it can affect the tracking of the challenge and you are looking to get this tracked properly so you can do it in the least amount of matches possible, which for this one is gonna be five. And the last thing I wanna talk about is whether or not you can leave the match once you've gotten the progress towards your challenge. Now, once you are confident that you got the two long shot eliminations that you need, you're gonna to wanna to go in game to where you can edit your loadout, go to the SMG category, scroll down to the CX-9. If you've noticed it's tracked properly, you are then able to leave the match you're in and dive into your next one, overall decreasing the amount of time it should take you to complete this. If you are confident you got the two eliminations that you need and you go to where you check your progress, you've noticed it hasn't tracked properly. I highly recommend staying into the end of the match in order to increase the odds of it tracking and obviously eliminating another match that you might have to jump into if it overall does not work. All right, so now you guys are set up with some tips and tricks on making this a bit easier. You guys know what the challenge is in order to unlock this. And I even gave you guys the best possible loadout to make this as easy as possible. That's where we're gonna wrap things up. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.